Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Middle of the week here for some. For some, it's just another day. So uh, I just want to touch base with you here. A couple of things happened yesterday, which are, um, you know, just as stuff happens, I try to get it out to, to everybody. So hopefully this helps somebody down the line when they're buying a house or when they're selling the house, when they get a mortgage and so forth. Okay. First thing is do not, do not purchase anything new when you're ready to purchase a house. If you've been pre-approved or trying to get pre-approved, do not purchase, you know, anything, you know, open up credit cards. Uh, don't purchase a car. Uh, we had a client yesterday that, that did that. And now they were looking at a certain sales price here. And now we have to drop it all the way down to here. Okay. Cause the debt to income ratio is too high now. Just don't do that. Just sit tight, buy the house first, okay? And then after that, do do what you're going to do. But make sure you still pay your mortgage, obviously, after that. But, you know, don't do it before because it can really throw a monkey wrench. And in this market, guys and gals, it's so competitive. You do not want to put yourself behind the eight ball by doing that. So keep everything status quo. Don't move money all over the place and so forth. But, man, I, you know, I felt bad for these clients. But, you know, at the same time, we tell people and we give them a checklist. Hey, don't do this. Don't do this. We, we have a do and do not list that we send out with every pre-approval letter plus talking to them. And if they just sit tight, they would have been fine. Um, you know, I mean, we're talking a drop of what they're looking at roughly about $75,000 now in purchase price. So that really limits them as far as, you know, as far as the market trying to find it. So uh, just keep everything status quo. Don't buy any new cars. Don't open up any new credit cards. Don't buy a boat. I know summer's coming. Just chill. Buy the house, get settled, and then go from there. Okay. Second thing is, this is going to sound obvious, but but don't quit your job or don't change jobs in, you know, like in the middle of the process. Okay. This did not happen to us yesterday, but something else happened. There was a client of ours who got laid off and felt terrible for the guy. He, he was closing this week actually, and now he can't close. And so now we're scrambling around to trying to re, uh, try, try to re, you know, organize everything for them and, and, and trying to make it work for them. So the other thing is, just, I mean, keep your employment status quo. The best thing you can do is be consistent when you're ready to buy a house. Uh, and when you're not consistent, that starts throwing up red flags. Okay. When they start seeing large deposits going in and it's cash deposits, they're going to ask about it. So keep everything status quo, uh, until you buy the house and then you can breathe again and, and live again and, and go from there. So hopefully that makes sense. I know it's sometimes sounds basic, but at the same time, you know, we're in this mortgage bubble where we're just, you know, I'm talking I'm not talking about an economic bubble. I'm talking about the mortgage bubble as far as mindset and head down working all day long and so forth. But basically uh, so sometimes it's good to step back and say, okay, look, let's talk about the basics again here and so forth. So hopefully that helps somebody. Hopefully that protects somebody. Uh, and, and hopefully, um, you know, going forward, uh, you know, somebody could be in the best possible position to purchase, especially in this market. It's extremely competitive. You want to put your best foot forward. You don't want to do anything else to hamper that. Okay. Uh, so if you got any questions, comment down below, shoot me a private message or text me at 423 262-9229. 423-262-9229. Have a great day. If you need any help, just let us know. Talk to you soon.